So we have here the small pepper E Sheen E013. And this is the actual drone itself. It comes with the controller. And we also have over here the uh, Ishin VR006 or 006 and it's the uh, FPV goggles. We also have a um, battery charger and the other item we have here is a receiver and I'll explain this later. Okay so let's uh, start off with unboxing the actual drone itself. So here's the box, fairly simple but quite nice. So you have the instructions here. The most useful part I found is on the last page here where it tells you what buttons do what on the controller because the controller is not very well labelled. So here we have the drone itself. It comes with one battery. So here it is. Nice red one. Uh, very small. It's mainly made of plastic. It's got these nice protectors for the blades. Yeah. This is where the battery goes and plugs into here. There's no on-off switch. You, as soon as you put the battery and plug it in, it just turns on. The camera is here. We also get the controller, which is uh, quite small but very nicely made. It is plastic, but the actual control sticks are made of metal. And you can see there's got lots of buttons here. Like I say, the instructions are useful for explaining what they do. Got two buttons at the top too. So AAA batteries, and three of them. Also in the box, you get stickers here yeah, and spare blades, screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver. Um, that's it. You also get a charging cable too. So the battery plugs in here. And you can charge one battery. So this uh, goggles came as part of the set. We can order it together. Or we can order it separately. Comes with the instructions. So here's the goggles itself. And this side we have the on off switch, which is here. Just hold this down. And uh, frequency searching and some menu options. It has the um, radio antennas here, which I included. Screen, let's switch this on. When it's on you can see a little light at the bottom. And this is what it looks like. For two eyes, it's just one single screen. So you also get like a mushroom antenna and like a flat, flat antenna. That's it. That's it. So this is an option for people who may find using the goggles to cause them to have motion sickness. What you get in this is the actual receiver itself. 
you also get the antenna. And the cable. So the battery charger I got came in this box. It's actually a 4-in-1 charger, not the one shown on the box here. But it does come with the cable and the adapter. So the actual charger thing is here. You just connect each battery up to this thing and this plug goes into here and this is just a normal USB comes with the plug now this is useful because these bigger ones last about six minutes flight time the original one was about four to five minutes so it's very useful to have multiple batteries otherwise you're just not going to get enough flight time to really learn much so I do recommend getting more batteries. So I'll connect this battery up and then we will see what it looks like on the FPV goggles. Channel is not connected, so we just press the scan button on the side. That automatically search for the channel. It's now connected. It is pretty instant. I will also now connect this receiver up to the phone to show you what it looks like. The phone here. There you go, so the phone itself just shows pretty much what the goggles should see as well. And you can change the mode to make it full screen and back again. So uh, if for those who have motion sickness with the goggles then this option is a very viable option. I've used it myself and it works really well. Now, well, flying the drone, I would say that using the first person view, i.e. the phone or the goggles, is much better than flying it visually. Uh, you will be able to control it much better using the, uh, the camera.
Das ist voll. 